Well, hello everyone, Dan Her with Dan Her Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am back here with Jason from Mount Baker Mining and Metals. And today we've come over to the Ocean Picture Stone Quarry. Jason wanted to see what it's all about, how we extract the stone, and what this beautiful stuff looks like. So I brought him over here to have a little adventure today. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Wish us luck, and I hope you enjoy. Now today we're kind of just playing around, hopefully to get one really good stone broken out so Jason can see the process and see one beautiful stone coming out. But I can't actually, you know, extract too much today. Because we were up mining, doing other stuff yesterday, my truck is full. I have no room in there to put any stone really. We're gonna go for that one real good showpiece today. And then, you know, I'll come back up later on the week and actually get some volume out of here. So Jason, what do you think of the stone? This is this is really cool stuff. This is this must be your little pile of, of good stuff here. No, this is actually <laughs> the we have some mid grade in here, but this is the stuff that is the rejects basically. Really? So uh, even... Eventually, this whole pile will go back into the pit as fill. But right now, we're just sort of storing it off to the side. As you can see, there are some. That's what we'd call mid grade stone. It's not the beautiful vibrant blue, but it does have great scenes in it. Yeah. Yeah, cool. No, I think it's a it's a beautiful stone. I'm excited. If this is the mid grade stuff, I'm excited to see what, <laughs> what's what, at the bottom of the pit. The showpiece we we pull out today is yeah. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, we had one heck of a rainstorm yesterday and it filled up our pond or our pit, I should say. It's now a pond. So luckily, I did think about this ahead of time and I brought the water pump today. We are going to pump out the water. We're just going to discharge it to the trees over here so it waters the plants. Not that they didn't get enough water last night, but we're going to discharge it to dry. It's not going into a creek or anything anywhere. It's nice and safe, following all the rules and everything and pump the water out so we can access the, you know, the good stuff at the bottom of the pit. And I should note, we were here just a couple days ago and this was almost dry. We knew we were coming back in just, you know, two or three days. So we left some of our bins for collecting rocks and we did not expect that rainfall. So I gotta get some of my buckets and stuff out of here. It will all be going away today for sure. Well, that was a lot more water than I expected, but uh, we got her down. Definitely exposed the good spot, the good part of the seam over here. Hopefully today we can get at least one really good, beautiful chunk out of the pit. And then of course it's gonna rain again tonight and fill us right back up again. Now we just washed off the stone that I think we wanna work at today. Nice piece right on the main, you know, high quality premium seam, seam here. Ideally, if we could get feather and wedges underneath it as well as on top, we might be able to get it out as one chunk. Unfortunately, with so much water right beside it, it's hard to get the ones going underneath. So Jason's on Bucket Brigade right now. That's me. Because the pump couldn't get down to, you know, the very last little bits here. But if we can get a few underneath to lift it or create a flaw underneath as well as, you know, feather and wedges on top to make a flaw going vertical, we might be able to get that off as one chunk. And then that's the money stone. This could be up to, you know, a $5,000 stone if we get it out of one piece. Let's hope. And it looks like last time we left one rock down below. We'll probably pop that off first just to create as clean of a area down below as possible to hope that comes off as one. So we'll put one feather and wedge in right there and we'll see if we can just pop that one little piece off first and you know just start getting the process going. And this is a feather and wedge, correct? Yes, those are feather and wedge. Very old style of breaking rock. In fact, back in Egyptian times, they used something quite similar, made out of wood that they used just water on. But uh, same idea, just expanding in a hole to break a rock free. And there is our first 
Yep, there's a one pound rock. <laughs> Doesn't look like much right now because it's so muddy. But uh, why don't you just wash that off in the, in the water there and see what it looks like. That's a $75 rock right there. Wow, look at that. A deep, deep blue all the way through with the banding like you talked about. The red inclusions, if you flip it over, those oh, red inclusions that. are sort of what you're looking for in it. Although if it's deep enough in the hose, like deep enough and not oxidized, those are gray. So flip over the other side, you'll see a few that are gray. Okay. Those haven't oxidized yet. Some people like the gray look. Some people like the red look. I think the gray is a little more rare because most of Ocean Picture Stone has the red inclusions. But yeah, that's actually probably about a two pound rock there. We'd cut that in half and sell two, one pound chunks out of that. Wow. And just that easy. Popped it well, <laughs> that one was that easy. We haven't gone for this yet. <laughs> yeah. No, that's It's actually, cool. it's way easier getting small pieces than it is to extract a big piece. Right. And strangely enough, it's easier to sell the small pieces because it is a, an expensive stone. It's easier to sell a $75 one pound rock for someone to put on their mantle for a showpiece than it is to sell a $5,000 rock. The yeah. serious collectors will want the big one. Yeah. But you know, the average person that just wants something to show off, they're usually going for the smaller one pound rocks. So yeah. we sell a lot more of those. Interesting. All right, well, let's go after that big boy there. Now I have drilled three holes, one, no, four. One, two, three, four, down along the bottom. And that's to create a flaw going in horizontally underneath the rock. I've drilled one hole up on the top edge here, right at this crack. So there's a natural flaw in the stone right now, a crack going that way. And I've put one right on that crack to give it a bit of pressure outwards to hopefully open up that crack as we go. And my first job will be to put one feather and wedge in here, one feather and wedge in there, perpendicular to the crack. We're just gonna give it a bit of pressure. We're gonna put four along here, give it a flaw across the bottom. We're put pressure on all of them, but we won't try to break the rock because we'll put you know a few at the top here to do the final breaking of the rock free. Don't wanna put too much pressure on that because I don't want to just break off the top at this point. So we have the four feather and wedges as sort of horizontal as I can get them. They're on an angle because, you know, that's how I have to drill them and how I have to swing the hammer. We'll tap them all in so that they're, you know, got some pressure on them. And then I'll go, you know, I'll move my body around so I can stand up top here and swing properly. And then we're going to work these ones pretty hard in. We're going to put a lot of force on these to try to get that crack propagating underneath this big chunk. And I've already got a really good pressure on the one that's tried to open up that crack. You never know, it's possible even just these four could lift this whole unit. Might break it off, it might lift the whole bank behind it. We don't know until we try. It's actually hard to hold on to the hammer. <laughs> I'm so muddy. All wet and slippery? Yeah. <laughs> I brought the rain with me, I guess. West side weather over here. Ooh, I oh, I heard a crack. Yeah. Hopefully that was the crack just going in. Because all you need is a little flaw underneath and then you can work from above. Here are more cracks. Uh -huh. Those cracks are good. Reason. There's a lot of pressure on that right now. You want to swing some more there? I can get in there and swing a little bit? or we Sure, if you want to go in there? Sure. Don't mind, do you? Not at all. You have plenty going. <laughs> so the idea is just to work across, keep even pressure all the way across? Yeah, technically what you want to do is you want to leave about 30 seconds between each sort of line. They go up through it, leave it, but we force them a bit and just keep going. Okay, and so I'll just work here. That one's solid, yeah. That one's in. Maybe right now give the one underneath your foot, the vertical one, the, the one that you're standing on actually. Oh, this one here. Yeah, just a couple more hits. Okay, and go back to the ones below. Look at that, I think we got a crack coming yeah, here. Huh? When they go underwater, they get really messy. It's, yeah, <laughs> splatter everywhere. Yeah. <sighs> 
Maybe we'll get a bit more water out to continue the job. Yeah, that sounds good. I see you let me do the last one for it's in the water. <laughs> So to help with the extraction of this rock, we decided just to take off a bit of the overburden on top. And we ended up actually breaking off a, a good little piece coming. This is usually mid-grade rock on top, but sometimes we actually get really good stuff. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beauty rock there. Oh, that, <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that made it worse. <laughs> Yeah, once we wash that off, we'll have, we'll have to have a good look at to see if it's mid-grade or premium. That looks pretty deep blue. And that other piece that you broke off there, just the, the little one, there's, this one here? there's some okay stuff there. Yeah. We'll definitely be taking that home with us. We should start making a pile just, you know, up somewhere. In the, up on the hill here, yeah. Of stuff to take. Yeah. Not that I have any room in my truck. Yeah, I know, but then you can't leave it. You can't leave it sitting here, you gotta <laughs> take it. Yep. <laughs> we'll fit it, fit it in somehow. Yeah, I don't know, what do you think? That looks pretty, pretty that, deep blue. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's uh, sort of the transition between the mid-grade and the premium. We won't really know until we clean it and cut it. for three of them here. We'll see if three will do it. If not, we'll put one in between each of them. Hashem's gonna be our uh, ham or, uh, our physical labor for the day. Yep. So our buddy Hashem here is gonna be our uh, hammerer for the day. And we're gonna see what we get off. We should have a flaw underneath and let's hope a flaw along the top brings it off in one big chunk. People are gonna comment and you choke it up on the hammer, you know. YouTube is relentless on things like that. <laughs> right. Everyone's an expert. Oh, I just heard there it go. go. Yeah, maybe it there. We got it coming though. It's coming for sure. Now it's just a case of what comes. If it's uh, just a sheet off the surface or a big rock. Either way, it's going to be blue. Oh, she's perfect. free. Oh, wow. Okay, that yeah. center one. Yeah, just knock her right down. Yeah, well, they're all going down now. All the way down to the bottom of all of them. And then we'll get a chisel in there. And see what we got. You got it? Okay, yep. here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, now let's just rotate it and expose that color. Oh, Whoa. baby. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, it came off the surface. It didn't go down to the flaw below, but there is the blue we've come to love. That is beautiful. It is. You know, it might not be a $5,000 rock, but that's still a thousand dollar rock over there. And there's still, you know, a whole lot more to get out from below. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Jason? <laughs> that's pretty beautiful stuff. <laughs> Look at that. And you know, it's dry right now. When you put water on it, the, the color explodes. Like um, it just, it's a, a whole new level of blue when it gets wet. Unfortunately, our water right now is brown, but do yeah. you usually see inclusions this big in there? Yep, that, yep. quite really often, common? quite often. And what we do with those when we're cutting it down into sellable pieces, so we'll, we'll cut along so that there's just a little bit of the inclusion at the bottom oh, yeah. and then blue at the top, because that's where, you know, the pendants would be made from. And we, we'd cut along there, we'd take a few off the top, we'd then cut along here, take a few over there, basically all the way around it. And uh, hopefully we get some that has sort of the, it's upside down right now, but would have the beach, the water, and the sky. Oh, wow. And that makes the perfect scene. Wow. Cool. Good piece. Excellent piece. And I think we're going to get another big chunk off real quick. If we put like three feather and wedges right there along the seam, we should be able to pop that chunk off real quick, real easy. This will be a bit more of a challenge to take after the fact. But got another good chunk. And Hashem wants a piece. Yeah, I do.
Okay. So we have cheap American labor here uh, <laughs> to do the hard work. <laughs> See if I do it right. Canadian supervision is the best, right? Oh yes. Yeah. I love hard work. Yeah. I can watch it all day. <laughs> you want any in the bottom or? Nope. Or the, Just... the flaw in the bottom should be enough for us. Ooh. Oh, there something went. Focus on this one out here for a little bit. Yep. Okay, now all of them. I see a crack going down. I'm hoping you got it as a chunk. You never know until you actually pull it out. Ooh. That one's solid? Yeah. Bottomed out. Oh yeah, it might be bottom oh, note. That was the one that we only dri hole. drilled part way. Okay, the end one. Just hammer that one in. It'll lift it. It'll lift the whole thing out. There we go. And you can get the oh. oh. You, got, you can get your fingers under this one to okay, see ready? what's in it. Okay, here's the big reveal here. Oh yeah. Whoa. Beautiful chunk. Those little manganese feathers there. Yep. Mm. Dendrites. Dendrites. That's very cool. Look at that. And, and this one's wet, so you get you can see how bright it gets when it's wet. Yeah, beautiful color. <laughs> Unfortunately, it still didn't go all the way down to the base, uh, but yeah, c'est la vie, c'est la vie. People ask me all the time why we don't use a diamond saw here. A diamond saw would be a good idea. It would actually extract this stuff all right. It is a lot of work to do. I would have to rent it, and I believe it's okay. Sebo might actually be able to fill me in. I believe it's okay under our current rules to use a diamond handsaw as, you know, without a permit. But I do have to watch out what I do here I am getting permits eventually, but right now we have to be careful what we do, that we don't break any rules. As long as you can carry it in one person by hand. I believe so, yep. And Sebo's a beast. He could carry a whole excavator in here by hand. <laughs> you get to decide what you want there, or if you want to break off a piece of your own. Uh, There's all sorts of pieces now. I'm not that expert on what would be, what would make a good pendant, so. Okay, we'll, we'll find you a good one. So now I can come in and spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> See how easy this is? You had it the first, oh, there you there go. go. You got it. Yeah. Another perfect rock. Ooh, there's a gray, just starting to weather on the outside, oxidizing the outside. Look at that. And you said these are pieces of like olivine and serpentine? It's serp technically it's a serpentine. I've never seen a serpentine look like it before. Yeah. But when you get some of the really unweathered stuff, you go really deep and it's got no oxidation at all. It's a gray with green specks all through it. Really? Yeah. And they call it a silicated serpentine. Do they? What that means, I don't know. I guess it's serpentine with quartz in it. I don't know, but. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Look at that. The, the hired help has taken over here. He's just grabbing tools and going. I like it. We gotta okay. make hay while the sun shines here. Okay, I would actually go in down here into the host. I would put one there off in sort of that direction. So, and then one over here off in this direction. Maybe even three. One, two, three, sort of fanning out. We might be able to lift this whole chunk for you. Okay, and so you're horizontal like this. Yeah, straight hole horizontal. Something out like that. It's a little hard to hold the tool that way, but it's the best way to get the holes in. Okay. Kind of fun teaching Jason how we do things here because you know, he obviously knows a lot more than me about so many things but this isn't his style of mining this isn't his thing so it's kind of neat to you know see him learning along the way the old methods that I use and you know when we get down to his place to do the smelting I get to learn off him the you know newfangled smelting newfangled smelting newfangled, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they've only been doing that for a few centuries but yeah <laughs> it's really neat sort of seeing the different knowledges working together. I think you're out of gas. I'm out of gas. Yes, I'm out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> Wedge. I couldn't do that again if I tried. You're gonna get it. I can hear it. You're gonna get it. It's coming? Yeah. Get on the top one here. There's one piece out. Oh, probably stop now and just uh, pull that one piece off. This and one you, here? Yeah, you probably have a curl bar somewhere. Yeah. 
No, let's lick that. Ah, lick it. You got the, the three colors. Perfect. Yeah, same with that. Well, there was a bit more mud on that than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it. Ooh, there it goes. Yeah, your whole knee just moved. I felt it, yeah. <laughs> That's hard work. It, it doesn't look that hard. <laughs> You're sweating there? Yeah, it's a lot. Those were two very effective wedges. Those worked really well. And they were tight right from the beginning. Yeah, drive them right in and then we'll get a wedge in there to do the last little bit. Oh, that went in. There we go. Ha 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 ha! This could be good. Let's see what we got. It wants to go. So the top piece up here didn't have much, but this next piece over looks to have it all. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, beach, water, sky. That's what everyone wants. Cool. Amazing piece. That is so cool. All the way around. Yep, and more. Yeah, look all at that. All through there. Well done, Jason. Yeah, it's a winner. Whoop, there it is. You can't get any better in Ocean Picture Stone unless you're down at the Dana Blue Seam. That is the best of premium. So as you may have heard me say in some other videos, you know, it's getting slim pickings up here. I used to be able to come up here and get a thousand pounds of rock, but you know, lately, you know, a couple hundred pounds is all I can get for a couple days worth of work. And there was two of us digging today. I will be getting permits on this claim very shortly so we can have actually, you know, bigger equipment in here and expose more of the main seam. And at that point, hopefully we can get some more coming out. Right now, it's pretty hard work, but it's beautiful stuff. What an amazing day out here. It is so beautiful. Storm clouds off in the distance. Beautiful green grass being spring. It's turned green out here, that's for sure. Birds tweeting in the distance. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful life to have out here in the wilderness like this. Well, everyone, what an amazing day at the Ocean Picture Stone Quarry. I had so much fun hanging out with Jason from Mount Baker Mining and Metals. If you haven't checked out his channel, go check it out. There will be a link below. He does uh, some amazing stuff with hard rock gold mining. Yeah, we got gold mining, we got smelting, we got some metal recycling, we got crushers, lots of crusher videos. So Big crushers. Yeah, check it out. It's pretty <laughs> cool stuff. Yeah, check out his channel. He's got some great stuff on YouTube there. Hope you enjoyed our little day at the quarry. We didn't get as much today as, you know, usual, but we had fun and got some most amazing pieces. If you liked the video, please leave me that thumbs up. If I haven't earned your subscription already, I hope I earned your subscription today. And a big thanks to everyone for watching, especially my patrons. Because of the support of my patrons, I get to make weekly episodes of Dan Hurt Prospecting. Hope you're having a great day. And until the next one, bye. Bye, guys.